Baked fish is one of the easiest dinners you can make any night of the week, you guys, but it's all about the kind of fish you're using. And today I'm going to do this beautiful Chilean sea bass and fix it up with my basil pesto. Ready for it? My family eats fish at least twice a week, you guys, so I always look for what's in season uh, and to change things up. Today I'm using Chilean sea bass. It's a gorgeous piece of fish. It doesn't need a ton of work, so we're going to give it a quick and simple seasoning, and then we're going to put it in the oven and then finish it up with my homemade basil pesto. The fish is already happily hanging out in my pan, which has been oiled. The oven is set to 425 degrees, and we're gonna do a simple seasoning now. So a little bit of kosher salt. Don't be shy with your seasoning. A little bit of black pepper. And I'm gonna do some Aleppo style red pepper flakes. This is not too, too hot. It's, um, it's got enough kick, but also a sweet flavor. So I love this with fish. I'm gonna sprinkle just a little bit. There is something missing, don't you think? Extra virgin olive oil. Lovingly drizzle some extra virgin olive oil all over this beautiful fish. Brush it. Check this out. I mean, you don't need a whole lot here because the homemade basil pesto is the star flavor maker here, you guys. We're gonna cover this baby up and we're gonna stick it in the oven, oh, for maybe 15-ish minutes. What you're looking for is for the fish to cook well and easily flake, but you don't want to overcook your fish. All right, I hear it sizzle. Your fish is ready when it flakes easily. And you can test that with a fork. That's a gorgeous piece. What you're looking for is for the fish to easily flake at the touch of your fork. Look at this gorgeous white fish just flaking away. This is a beautiful piece of fish. We aren't finished presenting this fish. We've got to add a couple more flavor makers. First of all, while it's still nice and hot, I grilled some lemons earlier. I'm gonna hit that up with some citrus right away. We've seasoned this simply and we're gonna add just a little bit of homemade basil pesto. You're gonna wanna check out my video because I have a couple of special tricks for homemade basil pesto. Gently spread that about. You can use as much or as little as you like to add enough flavor. You noticed I didn't use garlic earlier on this fish because my basil pesto supplies all the garlic here, you guys. So much beautiful flavor. Basil pesto is just made of basil, Parmesan cheese, pine nuts. So there's so much flavor in it and that's why you don't need much else on the fish. From there, just pour a little beauty and you know, something fun. I'm gonna add some tomatoes that have been sprinkled lightly with salt. Just, it's all about presentation, guys, right? And your unused lemons, set them aside because somebody might like to add a little bit more lemon to their sea bass. So good. How easy was this, you guys? I won't be offended if you use the store-bought basil pesto, but definitely check out the video for how to make your own at home. I would serve the sea bass with something as simple as basmati rice. I have a great recipe for that as well. That's it, you guys. Grab the recipe for baked sea bass with basil pesto over on themediterraneandish.com. I will see you later. Ciao. Me and the fish. You know, we're intimate. <laughs> All right. I don't know how the fish feels. I, about I don't know how the fish feels about this this relationship, but I, I like the fish very much. <laughs>